Ellen Yee here at King's MMA. Always great to be joined by the one and only, the fan favorite, Mr. Benil Dariush. First off, congratulations. You received your USADA clean jacket today. You have a newborn daughter, beautiful baby, beautiful family. They're all here to join you. That's right. I got a lot of blessings, you know. My wife is here. My daughters are here. It's a, it's a good day. Yeah, and shout out to your wife. She just gave birth on Friday. And then now, I mean, it's Monday morning already here in the gym supporting you. She's a machine, you know. I uh, People tell me I'm the fighter, but uh, there's levels to this. Yes, and a lot of your fans can't wait to see your levels to the fight game on May 6th as you fight Charles Oliveira. Last time you and I spoke, I know you were campaigning about getting that title shot, but a lot of your fans now are campaigning for you to get that title shot. So how confident are you with the win on May 6th that you're next? I'm pretty sure. I mean, I don't really see how they could go around me, right? I'm pretty sure I'll, I'll get the title shot after I beat Charles. And yeah, yeah, yeah I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I, I think if not your fans, I mean, they're yeah. they're going to be tweeting everywhere. Yeah, the, the fans have been great, man. You know, the cool thing about it is like some people will be like, hey, I'm not, I'm not even a fan of him, but he deserves the title shot. I've heard the fighters say. I deserve it. I've, I've, I've heard the, the fans say it. And now I even hear the media, like media, fans, fighters, you know, you got the, the, everybody. So I'm, I'm not really sure what, what's left for me after this. Well, I mean, you're only riding a win streak, a fight win streak since November 2018. So I think it definitely is very well deserved. And I even saw Islam say that he would like you to win so he gets a quote new challenge. What do you make of that statement? Yeah, I mean, I like that. Uh, ideally, I wish we could have just fought in July. You know, I know he wanted to fight Wolkanowski, but I like, you know, we could have just booked him and I in July. But that's fine with me. I'll take care of uh, Charles, Lord willing, in May, and then we'll uh, we'll move on to uh, Makachev when whenever end of the year. And looking at Makachev, he just fought Alex Wolkanowski. When you watched that fight, did anything surprise you at all in that fight? You know, I, I did a couple of interviews and I said it was going to go like that. I, I, I pretty much said it was going to go exactly like that. Um, the one thing I would say that uh, surprised me was uh, his, his striking looked clean. I, and I knew his striking was good, but it looked really, really clean in that fight, right? And so I was really impressed with, with his striking. And then with his grappling, um, it just, I, I just, it, it kind of just... Um, uh, I just doubled down on what I already believed. You know, I just saw the things that I I, I, I believed uh, he, he had holes in and, and things I can take advantage of. Well, leading into that fight, they were talking a lot about the winner would be pound for pound number one. But now it looks like number two is Alex Volkanovsky and number three is Islam. Do you think that it should be like that with number one now being John Jones? I mean, pound for pound is is like whatever you want it to be, right? Well, like why isn't Leon Edwards pound for pound champ? Because Usman was pound for pound champ, right? Yeah. And he just beat him twice. Uh, I don't understand how pound for pound works. So, like, I'm not going to speak on it. But, I, I, yeah, I, I think John Jones, number one. And then whoever after that, whatever, I, I don't really care. But for all your fans who can't wait to watch for your fight against Charles Oliveira May 6th, what would you like to let them know? You know, I'm coming. I got, I love fighting and I love hanging out with my daughter. And so May 6th, I get to do that. Mama, that's just mama. Say. Okay.